So today we're taking a look at the Canon EOS Rebel T7i, and this is a great camera that I've been using for years. Probably when it first came out was when I got it, and it holds sentimental value to me because this is how I really got going with my content creation. I've used this for my YouTube channel, I've used it for TikTok, Instagram, photos, and even my Amazon reviews that you may be watching. Now this camera has tons of features built into it. We'll take a look at the outside first. So obviously on the front you have your lens and you can change up the lenses any way you want. Just has a little button there and you can just unscrew it like that. Then you have just basically the body only. And it's pretty light, so it's approximately 532 grams, including the battery pack that's inside. So the battery's at the bottom, really easy to access. We'll talk about that in a second. But on the front side here, you have some nice rubber on the sides for grip. So for holding on to it, it's really easy, really great. Canon logo, EOS logo, and you have all your stuff in the middle. This has a 24.2 megapixel sensor built in with Wi-Fi, NFC, Bluetooth, all of that good stuff. So on the back side, you have all of your buttons and your different accessories. You can have your viewfinder here. Up top, we have a shoe mount, which I use all the time. These are like a nice point and shoot uh, shotgun mic there at the top. Works great. And you have two lanyard holes here. So if you do want to take it somewhere, you can just strap on the lanyard, which it does come with in the box. Up top, you have all your different features so that you can see what you can access there and all the little buttons, everything there. You have your shutter button there as well. Now, depending on what you plan to use this for, some features are going to be more important than others. But one of the biggest for me was the viewfinder. Now, if you open this up, you have your digital viewfinder or LCD screen here. And this is about three inches. It's a touch screen, so you can access different options and features just by touching. And it's really convenient when you are trying to shoot video or just trying to focus in on different things. It's just a great feature to have. I know a lot of them have these screens and sometimes they pop up at the top which then blocks you from accessing your shoe mount so the way that this one pops out is great it swivels so you can turn it the other way if you want to film that way that way if you are doing somewhat vlog style videos you can still use this or if you just want to see the viewfinder doing tech reviews and things like that you can fold it back in with the viewfinder just like that works really well and also you have all the tactile buttons here so if you don't want to use the touch screen options you have those as well so it's kind of a combination of the best of both worlds another feature i really like about this at the bottom you have a little mounting bracket here so if you can screw in tripods and things like that and a lot of the time with these the battery compartments tend to get in the way. So what I mean is if you do connect it to a tripod and you do run out of batteries, some cameras, it's hard to open these up. You'll have to remove them from the tripod where this one here, you can just pop it open. It doesn't get in the way of most tripods. You can pop out the battery, swap it right out, and that takes us right here with the batteries. So it does come with one battery. You can get more if you need more, but uh, pretty simple. Pop it in, close the tab. And also in that same sense, if you do need to use or remove your SD card while you're filming, let's say you run out or you need to do an edit, you can pop it out and you don't have to remove it from the tripod. So everything is accessible while you're working, while you're filming, maybe taking photos or everything like that. It's really easy. I find that the convenience of this camera just kept me with it over others. I have purchased some which I had to buy adapters and things like that so I could access all of those options and not have to pull it off the tripod. But that's a big thing you need to consider when you're buying a camera like this. Now I'm not getting too much into the specifications because you can see those on your own online, but just in terms of functionality and use, it's been a absolute beast for me. It's really helped my content creation and helped me take my content to the next level. Lastly, on the other side here, you do have openings here. So if you wanna plug up your mic, you do have those microphone ports there. And then you also have ports right here for your HDMI out and USB ports. There's also a flash up top here. So if you ever need it, you can flip it up if you are working in the manual mode. Otherwise it flips up automatically if you use the automatic features. So if you're looking for a great starter a DSLR camera, the Canon EOS Rebel T7i is a great place to get started, learn all the features, take great photos and great videos at the same time. And like I said, I've been using this for years and still use it today for my content creation on all of the most popular social media sites. So definitely check it out. It may be for you.